So before we jump into today's video, here is today's comment of the day. If you guys want to be comment of the day, all you have to do is comment on this video or any other video and I pick one from my new notifications. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, it's Simplicity and welcome back to I don't know what part of Leprosy, but um, Miss Delaney over here was supposed to be going on a date with, I think it was Joshua Bearcat, and now she's over here with this Patrick guy. Before I started um, filming, they were over here being like really flirty and then all of a sudden they were both reading a book together and I felt like that was a little bit strange. But at the same time, it was kind of cute. But yeah, she was like floating with this guy. And like his last name is Keaton. So obviously like he's Marty's kid. But I don't know who his mom is or anything like that. But I figured uh -huh. we'd jump in so that you guys can see that apparently Delaney still has it in her old age. And I mean, honestly, she kind of does. She's gorgeous. I can't even say that she's not. But uh, yeah, just I don't know. That's what kind of what we're just dealing with here is them doing whatever they want they're just kind of having their own conversation um i just felt like i could jump in just start filming hang out with you guys i made a cup of coffee so we're good and then this one over here is pregnant she doesn't really have a positive or negative about it because i did download a mod for pregnant sims that they could have like mixed reactions but i don't know if it works i haven't really played with a whole lot of like pregnant sims but like this LP, it hasn't worked, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm going to let her come up here and take a shower. Um, we're just kind of hanging out. There's really not a whole lot going on as of late yet. Uh, we did hire a maid just because I felt like, why not? Um, oh, he's right there. I was going to say, where's Kylo? He's there. He's playing in his little toy box, which I kind of want pictures of, if I'm completely honest. Um, Yusuf earned some money, cool, alright, see if I can get like a good angle in here, he's so cute, I'm seriously obsessed with him, like look at how cute he is, he's seriously, like he's so cute, um, I posted a poll, this goes up on Friday, so I posted it, was it early Tuesday morning, late Monday night, Tuesday morning, about starting a new series where I have face cam and we just kind of hang out and chill and play the game. I don't really have any, like, set motive. So like this, like, I have motives because it's, like, finishing lifetime wishes. But the other one would just be, like, very chill and playing the game. I've seen a lot of people doing that lately. I think it was Rochelle that brought that kind of into the community right now. If I remember correctly, which is Kwesi, if you guys don't know her. But, um, I don't know, I just, I feel like that'd be fun. And I wouldn't have to, like, really worry about anything. I could just kind of chill and play, and it wouldn't take a whole lot of editing, I wouldn't think, because, again, I am just chilling and playing. So, it could be good, I don't know. Like, I feel like it would be really good. So, you guys will have to let me know. You can vote on the poll that I posted on my community tab. You can leave a comment. Or I posted it over on Twitter, but by the time this video goes up, the Twitter one will close. So yeah, you'll have to let me know in either my comments or um, on that poll, because I don't think YouTube polls ever close. Which is kind of weird to me, but I don't think they do. Um, you need to take a shower. I don't know why you didn't listen to me there, but you can do that after. And then we're just going to kind of queue up everybody's interactions just to kind of get stuff done. It's always so weird to me, the little like half bathroom on the uh, right hand side there, which I had planned to be a half bath and a laundry room, which is why it's so big. I know it doesn't need to be, but um, it's so weird to me how like they only get lighting from that window in that one spot. Because, like, it's a fairly decent-sized window. You would think that it would expand more. But, I don't know. Uh, you can come up here and chat with your kid. You need a garden still. Genevieve's just doing her homework, which is good. You know what? I think 
Uh, she wants to learn a Kent Goth sign, which I found interesting just because he's a goth. But who is he? Um, we gotta find him. Oh. Well, he's not very cute, but I guess we could invite him over. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip until there's something just a little bit more interesting going on. Because I don't know if you guys would really be interested in me just kind of chilling since she is pregnant. So there's not like a whole lot of like adventuring for me to do or anything of that sort right now. So we're just kind of hanging out and letting people kind of do their own thing. Um, Kylo actually ages up in four days, which is exciting. I am starting to plan out a new house for them. So I haven't started on that quite yet. Like, I have an idea for it. But I am also in the process of building a another house. So, it could possibly work. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. I'll be back whenever something a little bit more interesting happens. Other than, like, Kylo being cute with his kid. Because, honestly, like, that's pretty cute. So, yeah. So, we will be right back. I changed my mind. I don't feel like skipping. Oh. Is that what that puddle sound was that I heard? Okay. So Camden's in labor. I did hear like a big sudden like whoosh sound of like a puddle. But I thought maybe something had broke. I didn't think it was her water though. So she's going to head off to the hospital with, Ky uh, with Kylo. With Yusuf. Um, you need to dispose of all of your dead plants whenever you're done. Her garden's really not going all too well. Um, this stake opportunity that we have is like useless to me because I can't seem to make it work no matter what I try to do so I just I don't know but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and have a baby I'm gonna take a sip of some delicious coffee I went ahead and made some caramel coffee at home very good highly recommend it um I think it's actually like I have the Keurig so I made like the Starbucks one and then I added in some caramel macchiato creamer this one was Coffee Mate. I know Starbucks has one, but I used Coffee Mate, and it's so good. And that is what I need to start my day. Um, okay, so they're just going to go ahead and have a baby. We're going to hang out and wait. Uh, I'm going to pull up Google so that I can have some names. Okay, so it is a baby girl born with loves the outdoors and I can apprehend burglar traits. Why does she have the can apprehend burglar trait? Who was her... I'm going to name her Mika. But who was her dad? Um, okay, so she is apparently absent-minded. Which, honestly, I'm okay with that. That's not a terrible trait. It's kind of fun to play with sometimes. But alright, so I want pictures... Of the little burrito baby, even though I do have a mod that I can actually change it so that they're not burrito babies. You guys are probably surprised. I did actually go ahead and download that. I think I was talking about it at one point. One of my videos I was talking about it. But uh, I did actually go ahead and download it. But I'm going to take a picture of her as a burrito and then we'll take a picture of her without being a burrito. But uh, we'll go ahead and hop into create a sim with her really quick so that I can change this up. So that she's not looking like a little burrito and we can have her kind of looking cute. There we go. So there is little Mika. She's got a little onesie. And if I can zoom in here, I can see her hair color. I think she's brunette. That looks like it's brunette to me. It kind of looks like it's Delaney's color brunette though. So if I remember correctly, her dad had black hair, right? Uh, she's now going to want to have 10 grandchildren because she's currently got 5. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and head on home with little Mika. I'm honestly curious how Yusuf would feel about this. I need to go ahead and add a crib. But yeah, I'm curious how Yusuf would feel. Like, they're together, but she's over here, like, birthing somebody else's kid. Like, I... I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking that, but I feel like it could be an interesting storyline if you guys want me to play that out. Or do you guys think that Yusuf would be accepting 
and not really care all too much. I have this, like, co-sleeper. I don't know if it'll work in here because this room's not very big. Um, and I don't have move objects on to attach it, so that's probably not going to work. But, uh, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you guys think. Would Yusuf be mad about Camden having somebody else's kid? Or would he be supportive and take Mika in as his own and raise her like his own child? Because I've seen how he is with Kylo, and, I mean, Kylo is his own kid. But he's also been showing interest in getting to know Genevieve lately. He's, like, been going up and, like, interacting with her without me telling to, like, off camera. So I feel like they are kind of starting to build a bit of a relationship here as well. So, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, I do have a little bit of my own idea in mind. I do kind of think that Kylo would be the type of person that would um, take Mika in as his own and, like, treat her as his own. So I just, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. But I'm hoping that this little co-sleeper thing works. And Kylo lost his wig. Okay, you can go ahead and eat and you can feed him on the floor. You are still over there gardening, which is fine. And then whenever you're done, can you come up here and do some of this stuff? Um, alright, so we gotta wait for them to get home. I know Mika is hungry, that's why she's in the yellow. We'll get there, but they gotta get back here first. That's the one thing. I'm like, I wish they came with, like, max motives. Other than, like, maybe sleep. Like, sleep I would understand why it wouldn't be full. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and give her a bottle. Um, you kind of need to take a shower, but I also kind of want you to come up here and interact with your kid. You can come up here and feed him. Genevieve doesn't need to. Um, she's done her homework. Fantastic. And I was going to send her to bed, but she can't go to bed while Mika is crying. So you can come over here and use this. Uh, you can take a shower. Can you hurry up and feed her? Thank you. And then you can come and put her over here. So we can see if this works or not. Alright. Um. I'm like just trying to like plan things out and see where I'm at and who needs to do what. Um, okay. Okay, so I don't think it's actually usable. Like in this room. I have seen other people use it and it does work for them. But... It's not going to work in here. And I don't have enough space in this house. So I'm going to have to try and like reorganize here for a second. Um, that's kind of cute. Can I do something like... Oh, that dresser is not big enough for the change table. But we also have a change table over in Kylo's room. So maybe we it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear the airplane. I could put that up there. She could sleep up on top of, like, the dresser, but I don't love that idea. <sighs> I wish I had the stand for that. Um, okay, so I'll just put down a crib. It can go, like, and we'll put it on this side. And then I... Th I think, yes, I can fit the desk in beside it. Okay, cool. That'll do. That will do. That will do. So you can come up here and put her in here. Uh, obviously, I need to work on getting a, another house really quickly. Because once Mika's like a child, we can't really live here anymore. Unless, like, something has happened to Delaney. But that girl is, like, way past the life expectation. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. She helps out around the house. But I didn't expect her to make it this long. Um, okay, you can come over here and do this. Uh, you can go over here for a second, please. Because you're getting a phone call, so you can answer that. Never mind. Um, okay. Come and repair the dishwasher, because apparently it's broken. I didn't know that. 
Alright. Everybody good? No, because Kylo's not in bed. Uh, she has a want to actually toss Kylo in the air, so you can come and do that after you go to the bathroom. She also wants to tickle him. Alright. Let her be a good big sister. Put that away. There we go. Alright. Lock that in. She can tickle him and then put him to bed and then she can go to bed. Delaney improved her handiness skill. Wow, she's got a high handiness skill. I didn't realize that. Um, okay, so she's done that. Can you go ahead and mop up all the puddles for me? Because there's a lot of them. Um, I want to turn this off. There we go. Okay, so I'll let her mop up the puddles and then she can go ahead and go to bed. Which is over here. And then we'll just probably pick up in the morning because there's not really anything to do overnight. Alright, so we are back. It is now the next day. And we are in France, which is always super exciting. This is the last place that we need to get our visa level up for to complete her lifetime wish, which is super exciting. Um, so, you know, I figured why not. Uh, she has a thing here about asking about a puzzle, which I know isn't an adventure. But we will just go ahead and do it anyways, because it was an opportunity that she has. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, she did just gonna want to increase her visa skill, so uh, visa level, visa skill, visa level. So we will do that as well. And I love look at her little beetle. I love the older beetles. Um, I have a 2002 Volkswagen Beetle. Absolutely love it. Uh, not a huge fan of the more modern ones. Something about them looks kind of weird to me. I don't know. But. I love Volkswagen Beetle, it's my absolute favorite car. Alright, so can you go ahead and ask this guy about the puzzles, please? That's all I need you to do. Alright. And... Was that seriously it? You are not expressing your need for exercise to some random dude. That was kind of pointless. All we had to do was talk to him, and now it's like, return home. Okay, come over here and check for adventures. Alright. We shall wait. See what we can get. Um, honestly, I'm at that point where I'm just going to kind of take whatever pops up. I'm not really all too picky about it. So we have to go over and report to somebody named Noelle, so you can go ahead and report in there. I'm going to switch this over to the travel one so that it pops up instead of it being the return home thing. So we're going to go ahead and report into her. I'm going to take some more coffee because honestly it just tastes really good and I need it. I will say I do make some pretty good coffee. Um, I normally would go to Starbucks for coffee, but uh, since everything's happened in March, I've been making my own, and like it's pretty good. There was some mornings when I was physically attending campus that I did actually end up making my own coffee because I didn't have time to stop, um, or like I'd be working. Because I, for those of you that didn't know. I actually was working in a kindergarten classroom, so I'd bring my own coffee then too. Um, and travel to the ruins up the road behind the nectary and enter them. Well, we can do that. That's not a big deal. Okay, go to the memorial grounds. All right. I seriously love World Adventures. It's probably one of my favorite, like, expansion packs. I feel like it's super underrated. But I just, I don't know, I have so much fun with it. Seriously, like, it's, it's so much fun to me. 
there's so much to do and like I just I don't know I like it okay so this is gonna load on up we kind of have to wait for it to load on up and I know that the stairs but it just kind of says to enter the ruins but I have to find the stairs uh, but I do still see something that she can excavate so let her do that and it looks like there's actually something else over here to do too so then she can go ahead and do that can't remember if the stairs are at the front or the back of the ruins. They're like memorial ground. So, we're just going to kind of look around for them. Oh, they're literally right in front of my eyes. Wow. Okay, well, she's just going to finish her excavating. And then we can go ahead and use these stairs. Alright. She found a relic. Don't know how you would find a relic from excavating things, but it looks like she found three there, which is kind of strange. But it's fine. Okay. Did this thing just pop up? Was that there before? Because I can't seem to click on it. But I don't remember that being there. I don't know. We're going to go down here with her. You can come over here and clear this out so we can get exploring and I'm seeing something there that you can collect. I'm going to spin around in a circle to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Alright, and then you can come over here and inspect this. Alrighty. I'm hoping to max out his visa level soon, but I think we're only at level 1 right now. So that could take a little bit, but hopefully we can do it during this trip. She is here for, I think it's 11 days, I think. So I feel like that's kind of enough time to complete it. So we'll have to just kind of see. But yeah, we're just going to kind of go through here and just do our thing. Um, you can come and st oh, stand on that. And then you can clear this out. I'm seeing some coins over here that we can grab. Okay, so she unlocked a hole in the wall, so we'll inspect that after too. And that looks like it's possibly money. You can collect that. I don't think I'm missing anything else. This hole in the wall is probably going to unlock the door, yeah. All right, and then go through the door. All right. So we can clear this out and clear this out. Um, there's a doorway, there's a keystone, there's a hidden wall over here. Okay, collect that. Collect that. And then we'll come over here to the hidden wall. Because I know we're probably supposed to go through the doorway, but I don't want to forget about like the hidden parts. So we'll do that first. And it looks like it's just a diamond and a dead body, so that's fun. Um, okay. Come on and put this over here. Uh, you can go ahead and go through this door. She wants to eat crepes, but I'm going to let her just eat a morsel. Um, okay, go this way. Pull far. Alright, does that open the doorway? I feel like that was kind of easy. Um... Okay, we will pull this far and then collect this. And then we gotta pull this one over here far. And then I'm assuming this unlocks the staircase that would be in here. Nope. This probably does though. Okay. 
I don't know why every single time they stand on these things, my game kind of freezes on me for a bit. Which is like super weird to me. I don't get why that happens. But it's only whenever she stands on these like things. So like see, why has nobody found this place creepy? It must be visible only to worthy adventurers. Well, I think I've been down here before because just a guess. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of collect everything that I can see here really quick. Because I don't want to like miss anything. Uh, collect that. Alright, so she's just going to go ahead and run around the maze. Run around the maze. And collect everything that I clicked on. Okay, so now where do I want to start? We may as well start over here, I guess. Um, collect that, and we'll take that. And then we'll inspect this little hole in the floor. I feel like that would be something I would forget to do, so we'll do that now. Okay, come stand on this. And then we have that to collect that I didn't see. Uh, clear this. We'll open that, and then collect this. Put this over here. Ooh, some nectar. Very nice, we can put that in the kitchen at home. I'll go through the door. Open this. I'm missing something. What did I not do? Oh, I see it. Okay, so for this door over here, I've got to move this little statue dude into place. I've got to get a better angle on him, though, so that I can click in the right spots. So we need to come over here and pull him far. And then we'll come and pull him down one. And we'll push him up one. And then we'll push him far. And then we're gonna come and collect this loot and sleep in the tent. And then we will pick up in the morning. She's gotta eat too, but. And then go to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell down below. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.